0.4 centimeters longer than it is wide. The area is 96 centimeters squared. So it did give us area. Let's look first. The envelope is 4 centimeters longer than it is wide. So length is the width but plus 4. And the width is just the width. And the area for an envelope, which should be rectangular because we don't want... The intention here is not for you guys to think about the shape being something other than an end, uh, a rectangle. So the area of a rectangle is length times the width, but we see that the length here is the width plus 4, and we're going to multiply that by the width. So the area, oh, and we do know the area, sorry. The area in this one is 96. So distributing this w, we get a w squared plus 4w equals the 96. So we should solve so that uh, we have a 0 on its own side of the equal sign by subtracting 96 from both sides. And we get 0 equals w squared plus 4w minus 96. So let's look at 96, negative 96 and find two factors that add up to positive 4. Um, I don't know what that is. So 12 and 8, specifically the 8 is a negative. So on this one, what's great is we can just split this up into our two binomials with the w's. And I've got a plus 12 and a minus 8. And if we solve these so that w plus 12 is equal to 0, then we get w equals negative 12. And also, we got w minus 8 should equal 0. So w equals a positive 8. Now, we don't usually measure things in negatives, so the w equals negative 12. It's no good. Looks like the width is just 8 centimeters, which we should be able to check, right? Uh, this was just the width. If the width is 8 centimeters, and the length is 4 centimeters longer, then the length should be 12 centimeters. And we should check, if we multiply these two, do we get the 96 square centimeters? Yes, we do.